from School of Physics and Technology of Suzhou University, uh, from Suzhou at, at China. Okay? Uh, this talk, title of the talk will be Single Spin Dirac Fermion and the Chain Insulator Based on Simple Oxides. Let's welcome Professor Jun. Okay. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, first, uh, I would like to thank the organizer to give me this opportunity to communicate with the uh, uh, experts here. Uh, I'm, my name is Shen Ju from Suzhou University. Today, I will talk about our recent work on the transition metal oxides. Uh, as we know, uh, transition metal oxides uh, is very uh, interesting material system. And uh, due to the multiple degrees of freedom, uh, this oxide system uh, has many emerging phenomena, uh, uh, including the mental to insulate transition in magnetite, uh, vendor dioxide, and a high temperature superconductor, uh, including the YBCO, and uh, a cross magneto resistive magnetite and a half metallic electronics, uh, in, for example, chromium dioxide. Uh, and also has many uh, uh, applications, for example, in the ferroelectrics and multiferrics. Uh, due to the highly anisotropic orbitals, uh, this uh, transition metal uh, oxide material uh, should uh, different uh, uh, properties uh, compared with uh, conventional uh, semiconductors. Uh, in fact, my research interest uh, in transition metal oxides uh, stems from this uh, paper. About uh, uh, tw uh, 12 years ago, when I was postdoc in National Taiwan University with Professor Guo. And uh, uh, in this paper, uh, Professor Zheng and Professor Guo and Professor Huang uh, using a first principle method to show the, for the first time the uh, long standing uh, uh, matter to insulator transition, that is, very transition in magnets uh, with, uh, as a result of the charge optical ordering. And in fact, uh, this uh, revealed the charge orbital ordering mechanism is uh, later uh, 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 verified by, by the experiment. Uh, following this uh, 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 paper, or, uh, and later, we, will, we have some do, done some uh, work on this magnetite material. And uh, the first uh, work is uh, revealed the pressure-driven pressure spin state transition. And in fact, this is also a long-standing uh, uh, problem in uh, uh, chemical society, uh, especially in the high-pressure uh, uh, physics society. And experimentally, uh, uh, experimental uh, scientists could not distinguish between two high-pressure uh, phase. And uh, we use a very uh, accurate first principle method. We have uh, distinguished the phase boundary uh, between these two high pressure phase. And in, uh, interestingly, we have revealed the evolution of the magnetization of this uh, transition metal oxides and found that uh, even in very high uh, uh, pressure, uh, this system is still can be magnetized. And the origin is due to very complex uh, crystal structure, including two sub lattice and as well as a uh, uh, diverse of uh, ionic state of the ion, including uh, uh, doublet and trivalent, as well as uh, the uh, magnet magnetic coupling, uh, complex magnetic coupling between two sub -lattice. And uh, besides uh, uh, this, oh, sorry, besides uh, this oldest uh, military uh, transition metal oxide material, in fact, the transition metal oxides also play an important role in uh, the hot, hot topic uh, here I just uh, show uh, the, the role played by the ferroelectric material in the photophotonics. Uh, as we know, uh, due to uh, the <coughs> energy problem, uh, people try to find uh, the suitable band gap material to satisfy the, the harvest uh, uh, sunlight absorption. And uh, however, due to the short crystal limit, uh, the upper limit of the uh, absorption or the photo conversion efficiency is, is uh, less than uh, 50. And uh, finding a suitable band gap material is very important. Uh, however, using the ferroelectric uh, polarization inherent in this ferroelectric material, one could uh, go beyond the shorty uh, crystal limit to achieve high 
power conversion efficiency. And recently, uh, cooperated with Professor Guo, we have uh, found an uh, interesting uh, multi dioxide material, that is the calcium ion chromium uh, double power skies, which has uh, both a suitable band gap as well as a large dairy electrophorization. And uh, 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 interestingly, the calculation of the optical absorption, we could find a very suitable match between the absorption spectrum with the sunlight uh, spectrum. And uh, for the double power sky uh, structure, we have two uh, different transition metal ions uh, in the B site. And uh, the spin degree, so three, uh, degrees of freedom uh, is the antiferromagnetic coupling. Then we introduce anti-symmetry between the spin up and the spin down channel. And uh, this will need uh, a symmetry between the sunlight absorption between two spin channels. And consequently, the photo spin current will be spin polarized. So use this uh, particular multi material, we could achieve uh, spin polarized photo uh, current. And uh, we also uh, connect the photo photonic field with the spin tronic field. Uh, what I, uh, what I uh, today focus on is uh, the oxide interface. Since uh, this uh, symposium is focused on the two-dimensional material. And uh, uh, for the oxide material, uh, it is very hard to achieve uh, atomically thin uh, monolayer. However, scientists are trying to uh, construct the hetero interface to achieve, uh, to, uh, achieve the two-dimensional transition metal oxide. And uh, the first example is the preservation of the uh, conductivity uh, state in the two insulating uh, interface. And this is a natural aluminum uh, oxide and also the uh, strontium titanium oxide. And at the interface between these two polar skies, uh, insulating uh, a conductivity state is formed. And uh, uh, expert, expert scientist, uh, Stuart Parkin, is very excited by uh, this observation. And also, we can find uh, <coughs> the conductivity at the heater interface can be controlled by uh, external gating. And uh, so scientists believe that use this heater architecture uh, method, one can uh, combine uh, many degrees of freedom or active uh, degrees of freedom in transition metal oxides, uh, including spin, charge, and order. Uh, for the physical uh, understanding of the two-dimensional electron gas at the, uh, the heater interface, uh, scientists have many uh, explanations. Uh, since this is an uh, oxide material, it is inevitably uh, that oxygen vacancy uh, 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 preserves in, in this at the interface. And uh, the oxygen vacancy will introduce, introduce extra ca electron carriers, and so the interface will be conducted. And also, uh, another ex explanation is the calcium mixing. So the nitrogen is a, a, tri a triplet uh, state. When it migrated from uh, LAO to STO, it will give rise to additional uh, electron, making the interface conductivity. However, experimental, experimentally, the most uh, important observation is the thickness dependence of uh, uh, conductivity. That is, when the thickness of uh, LAO is small, the interface, uh, heater interface is insulated. Only the thickness of the LL uh, is larger than four units. The heater interface will be conductive. So it will naturally uh, come to the explanation based on the polar contrast. That is uh, a polar material uh, uh, deposited on a neutral one. Uh, when increasing the thickness of this polar material, it will be a charge transfer uh, from uh, interface to uh, from surface to the interface. So the heater interface will be conductive. So the detailed explanation is uh, uh, here. Uh, here is a, a polar discontinuity at the heater interface. The up to uh, panels give us the information of the electron doped case, and the two uh, down panels give us the information of the whole doped case. For the unconstructed system, we can find the divergence of the electrostatic uh, potential. So for this unreconstructed system, it is uh, uh, unstable. So uh, for the 
diversity of uh, uh, ionic state of transition metal uh, ions, so it is easily uh, can change the electronic state of the titanium. So for the electron doped case, we can find a charge transfer of one half from the surface to the interface. So uh, the uh, unoccupied titanium 3D op uh, orbitals will be partially occupied. So it is uh, uh, electron gas. However, for the uh, p doped case, it is hardly to change the oxidation state of either the strontium or the oxygen. So the consequence is at the expense of the oxygen vacancy. So for the p-type heater interface, the system is still uh, uh, semiconducting. Uh, on the other hand, we can uh, uh, using external method or the extrinsic uh, mechanism to tune the interior electron density as well as the uh, density of a localized moment to change the magnetism at the heater interface. Here, just to give you an example of the magnetization at uh, this LAO and STU. Uh, by tuning the density, we can change the super exchange as well as the uh, uh, ferromagnetic uh, super exchange. So we can achieve many kinds of uh, uh, magnetism, including the uh, condom screened uh, dilute case as well as the uh, uh, double exchange ferromagnetic case. Uh, since the polar discontinuity is very uh, uh, popular uh, in the magnetite, uh, in the uh, transition metal oxides, here this slide just to give you, uh, we can change the A site elements as well as B site elements to achieve many kinds of uh, uh, contribution, including the polar uh, patrocity or the polar discontinuity. So there are many uh, choices, of, uh, for example, uh, in the B site we can choose from titania or, or a magnite or iron. For, and also uh, the A site, we can uh, combine uh, many choices of combination and uh, to achieve very uh, particular or exotic uh, uh, electronic state. So our starting point is uh, replacing STU with some magnet, uh, magnet, uh, magnetic material. So the first example is the progress kind magnetized and we can find in this material it is an insulator and uh, the magnetized uh, with the oxygen or hydrogen environment the uh, 3D orbital were split into uh, triplet T2G and uh, doublet EG uh, and uh, <coughs> for the uh, parent power sky SMO we can find it is a G type antiferromagnetic so the question is uh, if we use a, a polar discontinuity or, or the charge transfer uh, in the super lattice or the heater interface, can we, achieve, uh, can we change the uh, met, uh, insulator to the metal as well as the G-type antiferromagnetism to the ferromagnetism? Uh, so to do this, we, we construct uh, LAO and SMO super lattice. Uh, we, we distinguish three kinds of uh, super lattice structure. The first thing is uh, the superlattice with only n type uh, heater interface. And the second thing is the uh, superlattice with only p type interface. And the third thing is uh, with both n type and p type interface. And uh, for the, the, uh, the result is here. For the, before the reconstruction, we can find SMO uh, displays uh, G type antiferromagnetic ordering. Uh, however, when uh, it, Constructing the n type of superlattice, the electron doped in the unoccupied uh, EG orbitals, and we immediate a double exchange kind of a ferromagnetism. However, for the p type, the, it is a, a hole doped, so it will not change the uh, magnetic ground state, and the system is still the anti ferromagnetic order. Uh, however, for the n p type of superlattice, since the both the N type interface and the P type interface is here, uh, so the whole system uh, displays a zigzag uh, potential. So the charge transfer uh, is non uniform uh, at, in the whole system. And the electron will concentrate at the N type interface, and the hole will concentrate at the P type interface. So uh, the finding is uh, here. So uh, 
the consequence is uh, uh, the complex magnetic ordering in this NP type of lattice. Uh, here we just uh, use this uh, free example to show the evolution of the magnetic ordering at the uh, super lattice. We can find that when we increase of the thickness of uh, LL, uh, the N type interface will become a ferromagnetic couple. So use this uh, super lattice structure and uh, the polar discontinuity at uh, 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 this uh, <coughs> feature interface, we can achieve the charge transfer as well as the magnetic uh, reconstruction. Uh, so uh, we have a two-dimensional electron gas that is spin polarized. So it is natural to ask if we have the opportunity to, opportunity to realize spin polarized two-dimensional two whole gas. Uh, the answer, of course, is yes. But for uh, magnets, it is very hard since the valence state is uh, mainly from the oxygen P side, as, as mentioned before. The ox oxygen uh, oxide state is uh, rarely to change. So we need uh, some other kind of consideration. That is to find uh, a magnetic band of the valence state. Uh, fortunately, we have found uh, this material, that is euro titanium oxide. Uh, like a magnite parent material, SMO, ETU is also an uh, antiferromagnetic ground state. And uh, uh, the localized uh, 7, uh, uh, 4F uh, spins uh, uh, localized at the Euro site, and it is coupled uh, antiferromagnetic uh, from na its neighbors. And uh, due to uh, the coupling is very uh, subtle because the direct uh, exchange coupling between uh, euro ion is ferromagnetic, and the super exchange coupling via the uh, uh, oxygen is also ferromagnetic. And the super exchange coupling from the titanic uh, uh, unoccupied D, uh, D state is anti ferromagnetic magnetic coupling. So one can change, change this magnetic ordering by the, uh, for example, here is the stream, uh, Rapi and the failure uh, has revealed that. Using the bi excess compressed string, uh, one can change the system from anti ferromagnetic ferro electric system to the ferromagnetic ferro electric system. And in fact, uh, several years uh, later, experimentally has realized uh, such a tuning of magnetic ordering by epitaxial string. Uh, so, what we have to do is to construct uh, the oxide heater structure uh, using the polar discontinuity uh, mechanism. Uh, we have constructed both N-type and P-type uh, and N-P-type superlattice. For the N-type, uh, that is electron dope system, we can find uh, in all the systems we studied, the ground state uh, transistor from the anti-ferromagnetic ordering to the ferromagnetic ordering. And uh, the electron is located at the uh, uh, unoccupied titanium uh, uh, D3D side, and it is only partially spin polarized. For the whole doped uh, case, we can find the uh, electron bank structure here, uh, which is uh, uh, whole doped, and the hole is mainly uh, from the uh, euro site, uh, that is a 4F state. And uh, interestingly, this system is a half metal that is uh, conductive at the up spin channel and uh, insulating at the down spin channel. And uh, the origin of the ferromagnet uh, could be explained here. So before reconstruction, we can find that the band gap is open between the occupied 4F state of the one spin channel to the unoccupied titanium 3D state. And when the electron dope is, uh, is doped, the system changed from anti ferro to the ferromagnetic case. And we can find the consequence is uh, negative, negatively spin polarized titanium 3D uh, uh, electrons. Uh, for the whole doped case, we can find partially fully occupied 4F state will be uh, uh, partially occupied. So this is a, a main result. Uh, we also constructed the NP type uh, super lattice where N type interface and P type interface coexist in the system. And in all the cases, we found the ground state is still the G type anti-ferromagnetic and, and it is also uh, insulated. However, for some cases, when we uh, change the system from the G-type to the ferromagnetic system, 
we can find the system will transistor from the insulating state to the conductive state. We just uh, focused on this uh, this case, uh, as listed in this slide. It has a very uh, particular kind of band structure. We can find that in the ferromagnetic state, both the uh, electron and the hole are fully uh, uh, spin polarized. And uh, we can find that the electron stems mainly from at the titanium side, and the hole is uh, located at the euro side. And the energy difference between uh, uh, here is the hole is uh, is a stable com com compared with com previously uh, photo excited electron a whole system. And also, uh, we can find uh, due to the very limited uh, distance between the electron and the hole uh, via the uh, uh, coolant uh, coupling, this uh, electron and the hole will be paired. And at the low temperature, it will be condensed, condensed uh, to uh, form the uh, so-called spin superconductivity state. And for this state, uh, unlike the conventional superconductor, which is uh, composed of a cobalt pair with charge 2 and spin 0, here is a charge 0 and spin 1. As explained by uh, uh, Professor Sun and Professor Xi in the Peking University, uh, this uh, condensation of the particular spin triplet uh, uh, state will give, give, give rise to spin displacement transport. So in our case, we, we have uh, used the transition metal oxide superlattice to realize such an uh, interesting uh, electronic state. So uh, above is uh, to uh, do the heat to interface to transform the insulating state to uh, the metallic state. Uh, um, Next, I will give uh, you an example. Uh, if, if, it, if the parent material or the bulk material is uh, uh, metallic, what is the consequence when the uh, quantum uh, confinement is uh, happened? So uh, the, the example is uh, chromium dioxide. In the bulk uh, material, it is crystallized in the root high uh, structure. And uh, here is uh, the uh, electronic density of states. We can find it is a, it is a half metal, and the origin of the half metal stems from the so-called double exchange. Since at the chromium side, it possesses uh, both localized uh, dxy orbital and uh, delocalized yz plus zx uh, orbitals. So uh, the electron will hop between this uh, neighboring chromium oxide by the double exchange, and so the system. Uh, uh, displays a half metallic electronic structure. Uh, what we have to do is to construct an uh, ultra thin uh, chromium dioxide uh, uh, structure. So, uh, we have uh, studied two cases. The first is the superlattice case, that is, uh, uh, <coughs> chromium dioxide is confined uh, uh, be between the uh, insulating titanium dioxide. And uh, another case uh, is uh, uh, to mimic the uh, thin film uh, growth, that is, in the titanium dioxide substrate, we have a uh, 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 growth the chromium dioxide. Uh, when the thickness of the chromium dioxide is decreased, we found uh, matter to insulate the transition. Uh, interestingly, at, in the uh, critical of, uh, thickness, we found unusual uh, linear dispersion electronic state in both cases. And he, this is if you use the superlattice case, and this uh, band structure is the uh, thin film case. And uh, we have brought to the 3D uh, 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 band structure. We can find that when the spin orbital coupling is uh, uh, open, a band gap is open. And uh, interestingly, uh, uh, <coughs> the gap is uh, 3. Uh, mini EV, uh, much larger than the uh, experimentally uh, uh, example of the chromium doped uh, topological material. And also we can find that only when the, uh, uh, the magnetization is uh, perpendicular to the uh, uh, thin film uh, direction, uh, the band gap is larger. And when the magnetization is in plane, uh, the band gap is diminished. So we use uh, this chromium dioxide ultra thin film or the con uh, quantum confinement, we have realized the so-called uh, quantum hole 
uh, a norm, quantum a norm score effect that is a, a T insulator. Uh, besides this transition metal oxides, uh, 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 recently uh, um, we have some interest in the uh, two-dimensional material. And the first example is this uh, monobia uh, uh, di nitride. Uh, since I'm still interested in the spin polarized system, so I have searched uh, the literature uh, that it processes spin degrees of freedom. Uh, interestingly, this uh, nitride material uh, is realized, uh, is synthesized uh, reasonably. And uh, uh, Professor uh, uh, Yang Yuan uh, and his collaborator has to do some initial uh, calculation of its model. And it is revealed that uh, although the bulk display uh, non-magnetization, and the model layer is ferromagnetic, and uh, interestingly, by queuing the architectural stream, uh, uh, we can change it the ferromagnetic ground state to the antiferromagnetic ground state. And what we have to do is uh, just uh, uh, to <coughs> show the uh, band gap uh, opening in this material. And we found uh, uh, for this material, it is a monolayer, it is a, a metallic. However, when we uh, uh, use the hydrogen or some chemical unit to pass we, we could achieve a matter to insulate the transition. And the total energy calculation we found this uh, this passivation is stable. And uh, uh, what we next do is to show the real electronic state of this uh, transition metal dinitride. And as we know uh, in this morning, the electronic structure is very uh, 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 different to calculate since in the two dimensional material the uh, screening is very different from the bulk. Here we just give uh, you uh, the example of one S state and a two S state uh, in the uh, real space. And we can find the electron uh, hole interaction is very different depending on the uh, separation between uh, electron and the hole. Uh, so we need a GW and plus this also be the equation method to, uh, to find the accurate band structure. Here are the uh, best results of our findings. We can find uh, for the hydrogen uh, passivated system, the, the system possesses very large band gap. It is around 0.2. And also, uh, based on basis of the equation, we found that the first absorption peak is uh, located at uh, 2.4, with a binding energy around uh, 0.8. It's very huge binding energy. On the other hand, we can find that by replacing well, by choosing the different chemical uh, unit, we can finally tune in the band gap as well as uh, the location of the first absorption peak. For example, for a fluoride, the first location uh, absorption is located at two point electron volt, and for the chloride, we can find a much lower absorption peak is formed. Uh, 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 we can. Uh, uh, next uh, is the band alignment and the two, uh, type 2 heat structure in this system. We can find uh, the uh, band alignment between this system. And uh, what I want to say is, uh, just uh, to say is, uh, by tuning the chemical uh, uh, passivation unit, we can tune the, both the band gap and the band al alignment between uh, this uh, 2, 2D material. And uh, also, uh, we can uh, form the so-called type, type 2 heat structure to achieve the uh, electron hole separation. Okay, let me end my talk here. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you very nice presentations. Question and comment? Yeah, please. So you have mentioned the screen. Uh, dissertation is tight. Uh, could you comment on how to test to what extent it is dissertation is a practical scheme to test this dissertation as properties? So, our conclusion is uh, based on this uh, uh, theoretical paper uh, proposed by uh, Shun and Xie. And uh, if you just uh, uh, have this kind of uh, uh, external state, uh, one can realize the so-called uh, spin uh, displacement transport. 
And in our supervised structure, it has happened that both the uh, electron and the hole are spin polarized and just uh, separated by a very small distance. And uh, by uh, suitable cooling induction, uh, th this electron hole can form this uh, pair state. And at a low temperature, it is expected to condense into uh, this uh, spin displaced uh, transport electronic state. Do you, how do you see its dissipation? This? How do you see its being dissipation? This? Do, you have a, do you have a way to, to test this out? Uh, okay. uh, uh, at present, uh, we, 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 I just uh, show you an uh, example in transition metal heater structure. And uh, later, maybe I can go on to. Uh, further calculation to show the transfer. For the question or comment, please. Thank you for the talk. And I want to follow up that. You mean a uh, uh, dispatchless is the super super current? Because I, I think a super current is just dispatchless. So, <laughs> so you, you mean that dispatchless means uh, you insert the supercurrent into a ferromagnet or uh, is, what do you mean by uh, uh, this dispatchless? Uh, spin current of the dispatchless. Uh, dispatchless of the okay. spin current, not okay. the electron current. Okay. Coming, good question. Okay, let me ask you some technical question. Okay. When you do the transition metal oxide calculation between DFT, usually how you use the DFT approximation, or usually does the result depend on the U value you use? Uh, yes. Uh, usually what uh, the strategy of uh, uh, me is, uh, first I should uh, accurately describe the bulk property. Mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, in the suitable uh, range of Hubble U, I will test uh, uh, the calculation of the heater interface. Mm -hmm. uh, this is my uh, strategy. So you usually have what kind of exchange correlation of you use? GTA or something? It, GTA plus you. GTA plus you. Yeah, yeah. okay. uh, first I should uh, reproduce the property of the bulk, mm -hmm. for example, the magnetic orbit, mm -hmm. uh, as well as uh, uh, maybe band gap or something like that. Okay, uh, the second time question. In the last part of your talk, you are doing the uh, GW and beta subject calculation. Yeah. What kind of computing power you need to do that calculation? Uh, you, you mean the computational? Uh, power uh, to handle the last one. Okay. Uh, I think uh, here uh, the accuracy is within 10 uh, mini uh, electron volt. No, I mean computing power you need to do this calculation. <laughs> And in these cases, I use uh, 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 100 times of valence uh, uh, band, okay. number of bands. And the uh, number of k-point, I think, is uh, for this uh, 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 H1H uh, unit composed of uh, three or five atoms. I use uh, 24 by 24. And mm -hmm. the accuracy achieved in the band gap is within uh, 10 and many EV. Mm -hmm. And also the absorption peak uh, achieved is, is even smaller. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So, <laughs> he hasn't answered your question. Well, <laughs> well, uh, again, how many nodes, how many? Oh, yes. How many call, yeah, how many yeah. power? And for this case, uh, I use uh, uh, around uh, uh, two nodes, um, sorry, eight nodes. Composed around uh, 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 six, uh, sixteen CPU uh, for the whole week. Whole week. Yeah, for one okay, week. That's quick, actually. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are the formation energies involved in uh, your passivation of your structures? Is uh, of the order of uh, the electron bond. Uh, for, for the, say, O N 2 H2 or F2 H2 on. What are the formation energy values? Uh, okay, it's around uh, uh, one electron bond. 
Okay, and uh, have you checked the phonons for uh, the fluorinated and the chlorinated uh, structures as well? Yes, uh, the stimulant is a hydrogen passivated, uh, both uh, fluoride and chloride passivated case is uh, stable. They're stable. Yeah. But have you looked at the uh, phononic gaps? Because there's a gap, phononic gap that is opened in the case of the hydrogenated you know, phonon dispersion. So, can you comment on how the phononic gap uh, changes as you change the, uh, you know, atom that you passivate uh, with? Okay. So there's a gap between the acoustic uh, and, uh, modes and the outer right. modes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, I will. I will consider this issue later. Yeah. Sure. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, when you uh, calculate uh, the oxide the interface, right? You change the doping, right? Yeah. So in basically, you change the electron occupation of the different uh, orbital, including the d orbital. Yeah. So in that case, did you uh, try to check if the u number, yeah. the u value will be dependent on doping or not? Yeah, uh, using only one uh, u value to do uh, all calculation. My experience, uh, uh, usually when u is larger, it is u, uh, as long as the system is metallic, it usually goes to ferromagnetic order. But uh, the real question is, yes. well, if the U use is reasonable or not? Uh, as, as I uh, answered before, the first I will change the U uh, with the bulk in the bulk system, and then uh, I will test uh, the reasonable U uh, in the doped case. Right, but for many cases, the U number will depend on the optical occupation. Very sensitive sometimes. Uh, yes, you're right. But uh, in this case, uh, the orbital occupation is uh, uh, the doped electron usually or the whole is one half. Yeah. Of course, it will uh, spread into the interface. And uh, at the interface, uh, the occupied uh, orbital is large and uh, will decrease when going to the bulk. Okay, uh, I guess we need to move on. And then thanks, Professor Jin again. Okay, thank you. And now the third talk will be given by Professor.